I just did a nut with a couple dowel pieces on the end. So I just stick it in and flip it around and then screw that in. So that worked lovely. And right, so I'm building my own slide hammer from scratch. Uh, I just had the uh, creative urge to build this because I'm working on this Ford F-150. I'm actually changing bearings and the uh, issue I have. So these bearings, they get pressed into the tube, right? So to get them out, you need special tool it's a slide hammer that reaches and grabs in behind the bearing and you can pound them out of the tube and then drive new ones in but uh, instead of buying one i've so far spent about two hours to build this thing now i used a uh, big steel rod it was actually like a property stake and uh, we had a big threaded rod so i chopped some of that off and then uh, what i did for the sliding hammer portion i found a bunch of pieces of tube that would all slide together. So I cut them all to about eight inches. So there's the outer tube. And then we had another piece of tube that goes inside of that tube. And so a uh, decent diameter, about two inches, real thick. Of course, the inner tube's just slightly larger than this rod. So now I got this big weight that I can slide for the slide hammer. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna weld this together I'll be able to have my slide here. I'm gonna build something on the end there so you got a spot for the slide to nail against. So I can just make different attachments using a nut. Um, for this case on the truck, I'm just gonna use the nut and put a couple big ears on the end of it so that I can slide it in and turn it behind the bearing. And then I can take that threaded rod and thread it in and then slide hammer the bearings out. Should be uh, very handy for many different things. This is just being one of them, but you never know when you need a slide hammer. If you're creative enough, you can make anything you want. All right, now we're gonna see if this slide hammer actually works. There you go. Worked nice, I just did a, a nut with a couple dowel pieces on the end. So I just stick it in and flip it around and then screw that in. So that worked lovely. Yeah, this is the final product. Four pieces of pipe slid into each other over a stake that's about an inch thick, maybe uh, three quarters of an inch. Uh, I found a huge nut, a couple washers. I actually spaced them apart and then filled it all in with the weld all the way around. Give it a little bit of a grip there, just some foam from the dollar store and some electrical tape and then a couple washes on the end just to uh, give it a handle for you to grab onto. So happy that that worked. I just spent uh, three hours building that thing but it is late and this truck needs to get done and we're making it happen. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on content.